Ryuji Takasu, is a teenager who's just starting high school. But people stay away from him and think he's a delinquent because of his eyes. However, he happens to be a very nice person who cares for other people's happiness. Everyone at school is afraid of Ryuji, except Yusaku Kitamura and the girl he likes, Minori Kushieta. But Ryuji isn't considered the only top dog at school. There's also Tega Isaka who's a dwarf, but also very violent. On the day of orientation, Ryuji bumps into Tega and she throws an uppercut knocking him down. Later Ryuji finds out that Minori and Tega are in the same class as him. After school, Ryuji goes back to his class to get his bag. As soon as he grabs his bag Tega who's there starts to freak out. At home, Ryuji finds a love letter in his bag. It's from Tega to his friend Yusaku Kitamura. At night, Tega goes to Ruji's house and tries to attack him because he knows her secret. After several tries she collapses from hunger. Ruji feeds her and then settles the score by sharing his secrets with Tega. Tega learns from a notebook that Ruji likes Minori and teases him. The night passes by and Ruji suddenly realizes that it is almost morning. He promises Tega that he'll help her to write a proper love letter and sends her off. In the morning Ruji learns that Tega lives near his home. He opens the window and finds Tega on her balcony in front of him. He then goes to her apartment and finds it very fancy. But as soon as he enters, he notices everything is a mess. His cleaning compulsion kicks in and he gets his hands to clean everything up. Tega gets out of bed and insults him like a spoiled brat. Since then, Tega started to eat breakfast with Ruji and his mother Yasuko. To Ruji's shock, the little dwarf has a black hole instead of a stomach and eats all his food. Later, they walk to school together and on their way they see Minori. Ruji blushes when he sees Minori, but she misunderstands the situation and thinks the two are dating. Ruji and Tega work on a plan during gym class. Their goal is for Tega to get teamed up with Kitamura, but it backfires when Ruji headshots the distracted Tega with the basketball. Ruji then tries to help Tega to give Kitamura some cookies. They notice Kitamura running away and Tega falls down the stairs while chasing him. Ruji saves her but she ends up throwing cookies through a window. Later Ruji eats her crushed cookies out of consideration. The rumors of Ruji and Tega spread into the school. Minori takes them to the rooftop and tells them she hopes for their best. Kitamura comes out of nowhere and says they look good together. At night Ruji and Tega take out their frustration by beating a light pole. Tega decides to confess her feelings to Kitamura and stop bothering Ryuji. The next morning, Tega tells Minori and others that nothing is going on between her and Ryuji. Ryuji ends up thinking that Tega is doing all to clear his path for Minori. Later Tega confesses to Kitamura but ends up complimenting Ryuji in the process. For some reason our boy Kitamura, friend zones her and tries to become Ryuji's wingman. Ryuji appears with his hello there, telling that he saw the whole thing. A few days later, Ruji notices Minori doing her pimp my classmate's phone impression. She asks Ruji if she can also pimp his phone but he blushes and declines. At Ruji's home, Tega watches Ruji cooking and talking to himself about Minori. Tega kicks him for ignoring her. Tega takes Ruji to some place for dinner and Ruji finds out that Minori works there. Ruji compliments Minori's smile on the way back from dinner. Tega gets annoyed and kicks him once again. The next morning Ryuji and Tega go to a restaurant for breakfast because Ryuji wants to see Minori. On their way, they meet his mom's customer. It turns out that Minori is working at that man's shop. The same man asks if they want to work there, which Ryuji accepts too. Tega gets mad because Ryuji accepted the proposal for both of them. Ryuji shows his kindness and offers help to Minori. However, they both mistakenly get locked up in the storage room. Tega is getting back from a delivery when she sees Kitamura. He compliments her on learning to ride the bike. Tega returns to the shop but doesn't find Ruji or Minori. Ruji and Tega stack boxes to get out through the ventilator. As Ruji gets up, he finds Tega outside the ventilator. She gets inside. Ruji gets worried about Tega and goes to her apartment to give her breakfast and clean up. He finds some blurry pictures of Kitamura in a box. Tega finds him and before she gets mad he tells her that he can take Kitamura's pictures for her. Tega and Ruji meet Kitamura in the locker area where Tega embarrasses herself before Kitamura. Tega gets jealous of student body president Kitamura and vice president Sumire during morning assembly. Later she gets into an argument with Sumire and Kitamura stops her. At the lunch break, Kitamura and Minori join Ruji and Tega, which makes both of them nervous but happy. Kitamura praises Tega's lunch, but she's tense and points at Ruji when asked if she made it herself. Ruji tries to save the situation by telling that he likes to make lunches to make some extra cash. Ruji enjoys his OCD as he's on cleaning the bathroom duty, but Tega forces him to take some pictures of Kitamura. 
but ends up taking his blurry pictures herself. The next morning Tega tries to help Ruji make lunches for Minori and Kitamura. At school Minori shows Ruji some pictures of the puddings that she made. He finds a picture of Kushida enjoying the pudding and takes it. Later, Tega gives Ruji the pictures of Kitamura to laminate. Kitamura sees his pictures in Ruji's hands and tells him he used to have a crush on Tega, but she rejected him when he confessed to her. Ruji and Tega go to the restaurant so that Ruji can see Minori. There they see a famous model Ami Kawashima with Kitamura. Kitamura introduces Ami to Ruji and Tega as his childhood friend. Ami gets friendly with Ruji and holds his hand on the table. Later, Kitamura shows Ruji what Ami is really like. They see Ami being mean to Tega, who then slaps her. The next morning they find Ami transferring to their school as their classmate. Ruji finds Ami at the vending machine where she tries to win him at her side against Tega. Through a note, Tega asks Ruji why he was with Ami when they entered the classroom. Later he receives another note from Minori to not to break Tega's heart. After school, Ami tries to bully Tega again but is ignored. Eventually Ami talks about Kitamura and that freezes Tega up. Ruji tells Tega that Kitamura knows Ami's real nature, and they go to the store. Later coming back from a convenience store they both see Ami with a lot of junk food heading home. Ruji, Tega and Minori spot a boy with a camera near the school. Later, while coming back from school, Ami tells Ruji about the photographer who's been following her. Ami ends up staying at Tega's apartment to avoid the stalking. Tega forces Ami to eat lunch with them by blackmailing her over some out-of-character pictures. While cleaning Ruji and Ami end up together, Ruji reveals to her that he knows about her act so she should stop it. It starts raining there and they both take a shade when they see the stalker following Ami. Tega and Minori return from cleaning and the stalker takes a picture of Tega. Tega scolds him and chases him. Ami gets jealous of Tega's strength. Gathering courage Ami swears before Ruji to show everyone her real side. She then chases the stalker and destroys his camera to bits. Because of the rain Ruji takes Ami to his place and gives her tea. Ami makes a move on Ruji and gets really near to him when suddenly Tega sees them. Tega leaves Ruji's house after looking at Ami moving close to him. Later while making dinner Ruji tries to explain to Tega that Ami was just messing with him. The homeroom teacher tells the students that the pool is open. Tega hears this and gets worried. Later, Ruji and Minori take Tega to a swimsuit store. Tega gets mad when she sees Ami there. Ami wears a swimsuit to try and impress Ruji, but he ends up checking on Tega instead. Ruji finally understands the dilemma Tega is in because of the swimsuits. Tega cries in front of Ruji for having a flat chest. Ruji tells her not to worry as he can fix the problem. Ami shows off her swimsuit and gets praise from others. Ami gets angry when she sees the boys admiring Tega, then leaves. Ami holds Tega high and throws her into the pool. Tega calls for help and Ruji notices she can't swim. He goes to save her. Later, Ami apologizes to Tega, but she doesn't accept it. They start arguing. Minori tells them to settle their matter with sports. Minori draws the competition for Tega and Ami for a 50 meters swimming race. During the class, Ruji gets a note from the whole class. The note is about how Ami and Tega are competing to win Ruji over. At the pool Ruji teaches Tega how to swim but she gets nervous as Kitamura comes close to her. The next day the pool doesn't open because of the rain. Kitamura gives Ruji two passes for a public swimming pool for Tega's practice. At the vending machine, Ami tells Ruji she wants to spend summer with him at the beach. The next day Ruji takes Tega to a public swimming pool, but it starts raining there. While sitting and waiting for the rain to stop, Tega gets jealous of Ami. She argues with Ruji and leaves, crying. That day, Tega doesn't come to Ruji's place for dinner. The next day, Ruji gives Tega breakfast on their way to school. Ami wears a bikini for the race while Tega appears with a lot of swimming stuff. The race starts when Tega throws Ami into the pool and opens her slip and takes a strong start. Ami wears it back and tries to catch up when Tega gets her ankle wrenched. Ruji tries to help Tega and sends her forward. Meanwhile, two boys fly into the pool and hit Ruji making him faint. Tega cries and tells Ami that Ruji is hers. Later, she tells Ami she's going to her beach house with Ruji. Tega decides to help Ruji to get him close to Minori. The vacation starts and Kitamura and Minori join Ruji. Tega and Ami for the trip. Tega makes Minori listen to horror music so Ruji can notice that Minori gets scared easily. Ruji cleans the farmhouse while others go to the beach. Kitamura asks Ruji to go to a store with him but he suggests taking Tega with him which she refuses. Later Ruji accidentally goes to the bathroom and finds Ami who messes with him. Ruji ends up making the curry extra too spicy at Minori's request. However they keep eating it because of how it tastes good. Tega goes to Kitamura's room for medicine. 
Minori shares a snack and time with Ryuji. Later, Tega and Ryuji eat and talk about their progress in love. After that, they see strange things and the doors knock. Ryuji and Tega plan to scare Minori for Ryuji to get close to her. Kitamura hears them and eventually joins them in their mission to scare Minori. Minori helps Ryuji prepare breakfast and lunch for everyone. They compliment each other while Ami hears them from a distance. Ruji goes to get Ami from her room and she tries to seduce him. She asks Ruji why he is doing so much for Minori but he doesn't answer. Kitamura realizes Ami won't help, so he goes to set things up by himself. Everyone takes Minori to a cave. Kitamura's traps are idiotic and Ruji finds something slimy that scares Minori. Ruji tells Tega that the thing on his hand was real and she runs to Minori. Ryuji ends up with Ami who teases him. Suddenly they hear a scream and run thinking it's Minori. Ryuji and Ami join up with Kitamura and Tega. Kitamura tells them that something took Minori and goes after her. They suddenly hear strange voices. Tega goes after Minori and Kitamura. But it turns out that Minori was playing a prank on them. Minori reveals to everyone that everything was her doing and that Kitamura was her partner in this. They enjoy fireworks and Ruji talks to Ami and then to Minori. Minori says to Ruji that he always tries to make everyone happy. Ruji and Tega see Minori then a classmate Haruto Koji tells them that the culture festival is coming. The time for the culture festival approaches. The boys talk about what dresses they should make the girls wear. Ultimately Kitamura suggests a cosplay cafe, and every boy agrees. Tega gives Ruji her clothes for him to fix. Ami complains about Ruji spoiling her. Tega's phone vibrates and she calls her father a bastard. Ami nominates Tega for the pageant and she hates it. Later a student suggests a cosplay cafe which the girls deny. Ruji ends up talking to Tega's father. He tells Ruji that he is divorcing his wife and wants to be with Tega again. Ruji gets worried about Tega's father and tries to convince Tega but she refuses. Aruto gives scripts to everyone for the pro wrestling show at the cultural festival. Kitamura tells the class that the class with the best exhibit wins four awesome prizes. On the way home from school, Ruji and Tega find Tega's father. Tega kicks her father, but then Ruji and Tega have a talk. After that, she decides to listen to her father. Everyone at school makes preparations for the cultural festival. After school Tega's father shows up with a fancy car and she goes with him. Tega gives Ami fancy and rare chocolates and asks her to switch roles with her for pro wrestling. Minori learns about Tega's dad and argues with Ruji about why Tega shouldn't go with him. Ami talks to Ruji and cheers him up. Later Ruji finds out from her mother that Tega is moving out. Tega talks to Ruji through her balcony window and asks him to apologize to Minori. Ruji and Tega get ready for the pro wrestling act. Ruji never gets to apologize to Minori. The pro wrestling act starts and Tega and Ruji make an entrance. First Tega forgets about her line then the teacher starts freaking out in the audience. Later Tega and Ami get face to face according to the script and the show ends. After the show Ruji and Minori look at each other and feel down. Later, Tega tells Ruji to stop worrying about her and make up with Minori. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.